Ukrainian Kharkiv is going underground, schools, hospitals and theatres will be hidden in the depths. In addition to underground schools, underground operating rooms and intensive care facilities at hospitals will appear in Kharkov. Cultural institutions are also going underground. The mayor of the city, Igor Terekov, announced this during the telethon. We are working together with the Ministry of Health to create intensive care and operating rooms underground on the basis of our medical institutions, the mayor said. Terekov also said that the network of underground cultural institutions will continue to expand in Kharkov. According to him, there is a corresponding request from Kharkov residents. We already have institutions that show performances underground and we are scaling up this experience because there is a demand for performances for live communication in a safe space. It is important that cultural life does not stop, the head of Kharkov emphasized. According to Terekov, at the same time the city continues to build underground schools because the potential for opening schools at metro stations has already been exhausted. The first one should open soon. It is designed for 450 students, that is, it will teach 900 children in two shifts. As the mayor assured, there are already no empty places in this school. All are filled. Terekov also promises that students will not be left without attention. Underground universities are in the plans. Russia is systematically firing at Kharkiv with ballistic missiles and kamikaze drones. Recently, glide bombs have also been added. Military observer Roman Svitan believes that the Russians are deliberately terrorizing the civilian population of Kharkiv, taking advantage of the city's proximity to the border. The goal of the aggressor is to psychologically exhaust the Ukrainians. Russian troops and aviation will be first to know about appearance of F-16s in Ukraine. Expert. The first to know about the appearance of F-16 fighters in the skies of Ukraine will be Russian military facilities and aviation. This opinion was expressed by Bogdan Dolintz, a Ukrainian expert on aviation market development. On the Freedom TV channel, he noted that the political decision to transfer these aircraft to Ukraine has already been made. Now everything depends on completing infrastructure processes and coordinating the supply of ammunition. Firstly, the decision to transfer the aircraft has already been made, so it's only a matter of time. Secondly, we are seeing the completion of all infrastructure processes, which means the necessary resources, forces, training and knowledge are already ready or are in the final stages of formation, the expert explained. At the same time, he emphasized that in addition to aircraft, it is also necessary to ensure the supply of ammunition for them. Most likely, negotiations regarding the shells are still underway, Dolintz says. The effectiveness of using the F-16 directly depends on what plans the Ukrainian military leadership sets for itself for these aircraft and whether Western partners will be able to provide the necessary amount of ammunition to fully accomplish the assigned tasks. He continued, as for when the F-16s will appear in Ukrainian arsenal, different dates have been given starting from the summer of 2024. According to the expert, most likely their transfer will not be too obvious. First of all, because it is necessary to maintain the fog of war. On the other hand, the first to learn about the appearance of the F-16 in Ukraine will be Russian aviation and Russian military targets, which in the first weeks will feel all the power and all those capabilities which appeared in the Ukrainian military aviation, Dolintz stated. Greece uses military ships to deter Russian oil tankers. The Greek military fleet has extended its series of exercises to counter the transfer of oil between Russian tankers, reports Bloomberg. The Greek Navy has announced that it will conduct exercises until May the 19th in the Gulf of Laconia. This area is where the transfer of Russian oil takes place. The source indicates that the exercises are intended to deter oil transfers. When Greece first announced the drills last week, tankers quickly evacuated the area, gathering to the south instead, Bloomberg reports. It is noted that oil transfers occur outside Greece's direct territorial waters, so Athens couldn't combat this process. However, it's unclear what changed since Greece decided to take a more assertive stance. Denmark previously conducted a similar action in the Baltic Sea region. The US, EU and Australia have imposed a cap on prices for Russian oil and petroleum products to reduce Kremlin revenues in response to the war against Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia is attempting to circumvent the sanctions using various methods. 
In February, it was reported that Greek companies had stopped trading in raw Russian oil following intensified U.S. sanctions targeting shipping companies. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, international sanctions have made trading Russian crude and oil products increasingly difficult, prompting traders to seek loopholes to export them, including offshore ship-to-ship -ship transfers. In recent months, waters around Greece's southern coast and the Laconian Gulf have been meeting oil transfer points, especially for tankers carrying Russian oil, onto other vessels. Vessels are positioned beyond the limit of six nautical miles from the shore to avoid cargo and vessel checks by Greek authorities. You cannot perform an inspection on a ship with a foreign flag in international waters. Unless a vessel carries a Greek flag, your hands are tied, said a source with knowledge of the matter. The European Commission is expected to propose sanctions on oil tankers in the so-called Shadow Fleet that transports Russian oil outside the group of seven countries, oil price cap limit, European Union sources told Reuters last month.